In the last lecture, we have proved that every compact housetop space is normal. We have also shown that every regular Lindelof space is normal. Today, I will continue the topic normal spaces. Now, the theorem is every metric space is normal. Let us prove this theorem. Let Xt be a metric space and Td be the metric topology on X. Recall that metric topology on X is the collection of all those subsets G of X which are neighborhood of each of its points. That is, a subset G of X is open in X if for each point in G, there exists an open sphere which center that point contained in G. We have to prove XD, actually the topology TD, metric topology, is a normal space. To show that this is normal, we need two disjoint closed sets. Let L and M be two disjoint closed sets in X. Then for small L belongs to capital L, L small L doesn't belong to M because L and M are disjoint sets. And since M is closed, so M is closed is equal to closure of M. That means neither L is a point of M nor L is a limit point of M. And as we know that distance of set M from L is defined as infimum of distance of Lm means D of Lm where M belongs to capital M. And uh, since there does not exist any sequence in M which converges to L, and so this distance L is always positive. So D of L M is always positive. Let us denote this by Rn, where L belongs to small L belongs to capital L. Then Rl is positive. Let G is union of open spheres with center small l and radius rl by 3 where small l belongs to capital L. Then since for each point of l there is an open sphere so l is clearly contained in g. Similarly for each small m belongs to capital M distance of set l from point M is always positive and um, let us denote that distance by Rm for each M belongs to M then clearly Rm is positive and um, let H is union of open spheres with center M and radius Rm by 3 where M belongs small m belongs to capital M then uh, clearly capital M is contained in H. And we know that every open sphere is TD open because it is neighborhood of each of its points. So both G and H are TD open sets because in arbitrary union of open sets is open. And so G and H are open sets such that L is contained in G and M is contained in H. So it remains to show that G and H are disjoint. We claim that G and H are disjoint. If possible, let Z that belongs to G intersection H, then as Z belongs to G, and G is union of open sphere corresponding to each member of L, so there exists some L in capital L such that Z belongs to open sphere with center L and radius RL by 3. And as Z belongs to H, so Z belongs to open sphere with center M and radius RM by 3 for some M belongs to M. As Z belongs to open sphere with center L and radius RL by 3, so by definition of open sphere, we have 
P of LZ is strictly less than Rn by 2. And similarly, Z belongs to open sphere with center M and radius Rn by 3 implies that T of NZ is strictly less than Rn by 3 because here they have open space. And then T of LM is less than or equal to T of LZ plus T of ZM and this is less than RL by 3 plus RM by 3. And as RL and RM are real numbers, by law of trichotomy, RL is either less than or equal to RM or RM is less than or equal to RL. If RM is less than or equal to RL, then D of LM is strictly less than RL by 3. As D of LM is less than strictly less than RL by R, RL by 3 plus RM by 3. And if we replace RM by 3 um, by RL by 3, then we get 2 RL by 3. And uh, But by definition of D of small l and capital M, this is RL and this is infimum of all distances between L and M. So RL is less than or equal to D of LM and D of LM as we have uh, found that this is strictly less than 2R L by 3. So here we get RL is strictly less than 2R L by 3 which is absent. And if we assume that RL is less than or equal to RM, then D of LM is less than D 2 times RM by 3. And by definition of distance of set L from small m point m is RM and this is uh, infimum of all distances of points um, L and M. So this is less than or equal to D of LM. And mm, this is to, uh, strictly less than 2RM by 3, which is again absent. So our assumption is wrong and D and H are disjoint. Thus we have shown that for two disjoint closed sets, L and M, there are two disjoint open sets G and H such that L is containing G and M is containing H and they are disjoint. So we have shown that HD is a normal space. Now we note that as every metric space is T1, so we can say that metric space is a normal T1 space and hence we can say that every metric space is also 